Hello, and welcome to another video brought to you by Aegis Mobile Electric. Today, we are discussing our IBEX 2022 Innovation Award winning XD Series relays. For a brief overview, I would like to go over a few of the amazing features that this relay family has and then walk you through a brief functions demonstration. These patent pending innovative relays are available in single, dual, and triple circuit varieties that are capable for smaller one engine, one battery systems, and are linkable with bus bars to accommodate multi-engine, multi-battery bank applications for much larger electrical system applications. Starting off with the construction, these made in the USA relays with built tough construction and stainless steel hardware are perfect for harsh environments. The XD series also includes protective terminal covers and are great for switching up to continuous 500 amps with 12 and 24 volt control and switching capabilities, along with your choice of functions, including remote battery switching, voltage sensing capabilities for algorithm assisted automatic charge management, and much more. We also offer single circuit XD relays as low voltage disconnects. I should also mention that depending on your needs, relays can either be had with yellow high visibility manual override three position knobs for off, auto, and force on positions, or can be had without knobs for systems that do not need it. Our line of XD series relay control wires are available with flying wires for the installer to terminate their own connections or alternatively come with pre-installed Deutsch DTM connectors. These control wires allow for single or dual start isolation as well as remote operations. The XD series is programmable via dip switches like automatic charging relay voltage on and off set points as an example. On the underside of the device, you will find our Gore-Tex vent, which regulates internal device pressure to eliminate moisture entry across seals and ensure long product life in harsh environments and ensures the IP67 ingress protection rating. These relays features LED status display and also output option to connect LEDs for remote indication. Every relay comes with a 40 label circuit and relay identification sheet. The XT series has a limited four year warranty and available in both bulk pack and retail configurations. And depending on needs, can be available in pre-assembled sets for larger systems. Contact our sales representative partners, visit our distributor page. We are also available to handle any questions you may have directly via email in the description below. For the next section, I'd like to walk you through a live demonstration of these relays and go over some of the different functions and examples that they offer. So first, let me walk you through this display a little bit. So over here, we have our electrical switches. We have permanent on off. We have momentary switches, which we'll go over in more detail here in a minute. We have our triple circuit XD relay and we have our dual circuit XD relay and they're connected via this bus bar, a crossover link bus bar down here. These relays do come as mentioned with the protective terminal cover and all of these terminal covers and the relays themselves have integrated label recesses for easy relay and circuit identification. Right here, we have our manual override knobs. We also offer these relays without knobs, depending on your use case scenario. Down here, we have our control wires at the bottom of each individual relay, and those are connected to these switches. And then these larger red wires go to what they're connected to down here, indicated by these icons for engine, batteries, and house loads. Each relay has an LED status indicator. Right now, the green LED that's momentarily flashing is indicating that these relays are in a hibernation or standby mode. The XD series can be controlled via several different methods. We have our yellow high visibility manual override control knobs, and then we also have single and two wires. Now, if we go to here and we click engine batteries, this is a permanent off, permanent on switch and you can see that it is turning on the relays. Currently, the house load LED is not lit up because we don't have the house batteries turned on. So this is the engine batteries, so both engine LEDs are now active. If I turn on the house, now the house loads are active. This is a single wire permanent on, permanent off switch. These are momentary switches. So this is for your two wire control. So we have our momentary on signal and our momentary off signal here. If I wanted to shut off the engine batteries, simply deselecting the permanent on off switch will turn off the engines and for the house battery i would need to press the red button here now you can turn it off and turn it on via the momentary switch and there is a three second safety delay to make sure that there's not unnecessary switching before you would press it back on again 
There is a two second momentary off signal that can be used to control these relays that is not shown currently on this demo. There's also parallel control. So using the two wire configuration, we can have parallel switches at different control stations and control the exact same battery bank and relays via a different set of switches. So currently they are on, I can press this and turn it off. Conversely, I can also turn it back on. Looking at these relays in a bit more detail, we have a remote relay here. This is a VSR or voltage sensing relay. This is responsible for the automatic charge management on this relay. We have another remote relay. On the dual XD over here, we have another VSR and we have another remote relay. Currently, the LEDs on the VSRs are flashing, indicating that they're not seeing engine charge voltage. When I press the running charging button here, which is another permanent on, permanent off switch, in this case, the alternators will be running, you will hear these relays close and the LEDs will go to a solid green. Now that we have it in this configuration, the XD series relays are automatically distributing proper charge management to the three different battery banks here displayed. Now, if I turn off the engines, so this would indicate that there's power to the system, power to the house battery, we can see that the LEDs go back into a flashing status, showing that the relays will be opening soon. We also have a critical start isolation feature. So for, in this example, there's certain wires on these relays that when you press the engine start button, so this would be a momentary signal connected to say your key switch for the engine cranking event, I will simulate that by pressing this button here. The relays now have disconnected the engine batteries from the house batteries. And that assists in preventing the negative effects of engine cranking, causing voltage sags and spikes on the sensitive equipment hooked to your house battery. This stays in the state for approximately two minutes in order for the engines, after they've started, to go ahead and charge up the engine batteries back up to optimal voltage. Then the relays will go back to automatic charge management of the engine and house batteries, and there will be no voltage sags or spikes. It's important that the engine start is a momentary signal the XDs, when set to VSR mode, can optionally have external control switches to override the automatic functionality to either force on or force off the VSR. This, in this example, the emergency parallel button, when I press that, this connects the engine and house battery banks parallel together for start environments where the engine battery may be below the ideal voltage threshold. It's important that this be configured with a momentary signal that way, after a period of about two minutes, the relays will go back to their normal automatic charging mode. If using a permanent on, permanent off switch for emergency parallel, this could inadvertently tie all the batteries together for an extended period of time, allowing the engine batteries to be fully drained with excess loads or draining the house batteries. So the momentary is ideal. After two minutes, it will resume normal charging operation. On this demo, we have also highlighted the remote LED indication. We can see here that we have one and two LEDs representing our engines, and we have an LED for the battery bank, and these are configured remotely. These mirror the LEDs that would be displayed physically on the device. The manual override knobs here, all the way to the left would be force off, straight up and down is in the auto position, and to the right would be force on position. So if I was to shut this off, you can see that this relay goes into a double flash state, as also indicated over there on LED number one. I can mirror that option on engine two, so it does the same thing. Going back to the auto mode means the relays instantly re-engage and go back to their previous state. The remote LED double flash is a safety measure to help ensure a force manual override, if necessary, is returned back to the remote automatic control as soon as possible. Now that we have walked through the display demonstration, I'd like to show a few configuration example diagrams depending on engines and batteries that your vessel may have. So visiting aegismobile.com will reveal our website. When you go to this website, you can either find some of the products here on the homepage. You can find it by solution by product, solution by industry, or underneath this plus symbol will be the XD series page. Under here, you will find many different variations. If I were to go to say the dual flex two relay, and click into here. On each page, under the documentation support tab over here on the left, or in some instances it may be over here on the right, we'll find the sales sheet. Click the image, we'll download the sales sheet, and opening it will reveal the in-depth documentation that we have for every product page on our site. In this example, page one is for important features and information. Page two has dip switch programming, 
detailed operational modes and responses, some of our general specifications such as voltages and amperages, along with LED indicator explainer for determining relay function. On page three, we can see many different configurations for the control wires, along with a beginning example of a mechanical only switch, a VSR in the middle, and another mechanical only switch for some applications. Page four has different detailed specifications for dimensions. And here on page five, we can see the first example configuration of a single engine, two battery with house loads on a triple circuit XD, along with the control wire pinouts. Going to additional pages, we'll reveal additional configurations. On page 11, we'll find an example that mirrors our demonstration display that we just walked through. As we can see here, this 16 inch wide triple relay configuration that actually has seven different relays in it is perfect for three engine, four battery banks with house load. And the two crossover link bus bars demonstrate that connecting these relays via bus bars allows you to expand your charge management for more complex systems and larger vessels. You can always reach out to our technical support team at support at aegismobile.com for drawings, specifications, and 3D files for design teams. We hope you have found this video useful. And from the team here at Aegis Mobile Electric, we thank you for viewing. Until next time, bye for now.